All right, guys, I got a really exciting video for you today. This happened just this last week on the Droid Razor HD, the Atrix HD, and the Razor M. They got an unlocked bootloader. This was amazing, awesome news. The guy hacked this um, and made you a utility to do it. It's really simple. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this, um, but let me get into some, some prerequisites on it a little bit first. So first things first, you have to have root access on the device. So you're going to have root access with something like Super, super User or Super Sue, this utility right here. That's the first thing you're going to want to have. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you have under developer options, make sure developer options are turned on and make sure USB debugging is turned on. And then lastly, you want to install your Motorola drivers on your Windows PC. Um, got a video specifically on that, so I'm not going to really go into it, but watch the video. It'll be in the video description. Um, it'll be a video on how to install the Motorola drivers. So these are your prerequisites here to do this. Let me also just make sure you're tracking with me. Let me show you guys what uh, version I'm running right now. This is uh, Android version 4.1.2 Jelly Bean Droid Razor HD or the Droid Razor Max HD or Razor M or whatever, any Atrix HD, all that stuff should work to unlock the bootloader on those devices. Right now I'm running system version 9.6. I'm sorry, 9.16.6.xt926. So that's what I'm on right now. This is the stock ROM. And we're going to go ahead and hook this up to my computer and show you guys the utility. So let's go check that out. So the file we're actually going to be looking for is right here. It's called Moto uh, Apocalypse, I guess. Is, I think that's Apocalypse. I think that's what they're saying right there. I think that's the way it's spelled. Um, this is a zip file. I'm going to give you guys links to this video description uh, along with the link to the forum where it was found and who the developer is and all those goody stuff on there will be in the video description. So you're going to download this file right here. You're going to extract it and I extracted it into this folder and you come up with all of this information. Okay. Um, basically all we have to do is we click your run file right here and it opens up the utility right here. This is really, really simple to do. Uh, let me just read through this again. Um, this is by Dan Rosenberg. So supports Motorola, Razer HD, Razer M, Razer Max HD, and Atrix HD. Um, before continuing, ensure that your device has been rooted, which we did already. Um, you have a working SUE installation, which is super user. That USB debugging is enabled, also already done that that you have the latest Motorola drivers installed again watch video from my video description and then it says warning this is permanently voiding your warranty on your device this is non-reversible I'm not responsible for any damage to your device as a result of this tool press enter to root your phone it's actually not root it's actually unlocking your bootloader but so we're gonna take our device here that's powered on and go ahead and plug in your cable I recommend plugging in your USB cable to the back of your computer along within the phone. Um, like I say, make sure those, device, those um, drivers are installed. And there's a little guy up here on the top of your screen that's going to be uh, on your pull down. It's going to be uh, your USB debugging guide to make sure your debugging is turned on. So we can set the phone down now. And we're going to go ahead and press any key to continue and see what happens. So here we go, guys. All right, it's waiting for a device. The device is done. D-Man starting successfully. It's running some unlocked stuff. Yeah. All right, so let me zoom in on this for you guys now. I uh, hope you guys can see that right there. It says device is unlocked, status code three. There you go, that's it. The device is now unlocked. Let's go ahead and go back to the utility. Let's leave this thing plugged in and we'll set it down. It's pretty much that simple to unlock this device. Let's check this utility back. All right, so it says here, press enter once the phone has rebooted into bootloader mode. Press any key to continue. So we're going to press enter once. And it just did some more stuff on here. And there it goes. Press enter to reboot and exit. So press enter again. It just tells you your bootloader information up there. That's what that is. 
that's what all this information is right here is all your bootloader information so push enter again and the phone is now rebooting and your boot animation has changed to this and the reason it's changed to that is because you have an unlocked bootloader so instead of saying Motorola it tells you it's unlocked and then it goes to this boot animation so I guess that's not even called boot animation it's called uh, uh, logo something I can't remember what they call that anim that animation in the front that tells you it's unlocked so instead of seeing the Motorola you see that it's unlocked and you have your standard boot animation here your razor animation um, so that is it guys that just unlocked your bootloader and very 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 cool I can show it to you guys again and show you how to check your bootloader status so let me do that and then we'll wrap this video up so let's move over here and check that out you, at this point you guys can go ahead and unplug your phone and the utility just closed behind you in the window behind you on the computer okay so our device is unlocked if you guys want to check your bootloader you can obviously see that it's unlocked on boot animation but this is the way to check your bootloader status before you uh, unlock it and after just to see the difference um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to power off the device power off go ahead and let it shut down and then what we're going to do is we're going to hold your volume up and down buttons and hold them both down and then hit the power button and hold it down and we will we will boot up into boot it's called boot mode Let's see if I can do this both of those and that one and we're in boot mode and then we're going to scroll down with the volume button volume down and then push the volume up button and that selects it and this gets us into AP fast boot mode and again right here you can see device is unlocked status code 3 that is that's it you are unlocked so to reboot from here just power off the device hold power down down the power button and power it again and there it goes it gives you the warning again that the bootloader is unlocked and goes to your normal boot animation uh, like I said continue watching this guys this is really exciting for, for Motorola we found a way to unlock the bootloader on this thing. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all kinds of videos on installing custom recoveries and ROMs and all kinds of goodies on this device now that it is fully unlocked. I'm super pumped. Hope you guys are too. Um, as always, please check me out up here at RootJunkie.com. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter and we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.